Hello, and welcome to this first edition of the Contra Dance Dialogues. I am your host, Lon, Lyons. And joining me is your hostess, Blanche, and Swain. Thank you, Lon. And thank you, Contra Dancers, for taking this moment with us to discuss becoming a Nessa person, I mean Contra Dancer. Contra Dance communities everywhere struggle with creating an ideal environment for Contra Dance to flourish. Many attempts have been made to reach the budding dancer and encourage developing skill levels that can make Contra Dancing a more enjoyable pastime for all involved. In this first edition of the Contra Dance Dialogues we would like to share some insights provided by the kind folks of the Cincinnati Contra Dance community. This can be found on their website, CincinnatiContraDancer.org. And now, the top 10 plus things that make a good Contra Dancer. One, a good dancer is always on time for the next figure and makes sure his or her partner is as well. Dance with the music on the beat and with the phrases. Flourishes can be fun, but should only be done if there is time available. It can be just as satisfying to spend a few seconds holding hands with your partner as it is to twirl around three times. 2. A good dancer. Dances at the level of their partner. Adjust your dancing to match the skill level and style of whoever you may be dancing with at the moment. This means making a very quick evaluation as you meet someone in the line and modifying your dancing to accommodate them. For instance, follow the signals of the person being chained as to whether to twirl or do a normal courtesy turn. Don't try fancy embellishments until your partner is ready for them. 3. A good dancer has a smooth swing. All motion should be horizontal, non-vertical. Whether you use a walking swing or a buzz step, make sure it is smooth. Imagine that there is a glass of water on the top of your head. Hold your back straight with your arms up, your shoulders parallel to your partner's and your weight over your own feet. Don't hang on your partner, the support you give one another is just what is needed to keep the centrifugal force of the swing from throwing you apart. 4. A good dancer moves gracefully through all figures. Remember, we were dancing. Avoid trudging, marching, running or hopping. 5. A good dancer gives lots of eye contact. On all figures look at the people you are dancing with. This goes for circles and same-sex alley mans just as much as for gypsies and swings. If you feel like it, flirt with the people you meet, it's fun and non-fattening. 6. And for me this is a very important thing to consider. A good dancer dances with the entire set and not just as an individual or a couple. It is possible to concentrate so much on your own dancing pleasure that you annoy or disrupt the other people in the set. In my opinion it makes those dancers seem selfish. That is so true. Having fun with everyone in your set is something that makes Contra dancing so special. 7. A good dancer can recover if the set gets messed up. If you get lost or your minor set breaks down you should know where you need to go next. Skip the next figure or figures, walk to progressed position or to the next partner swing, and get ready to pick up when the music comes around again. 8. A good dancer gives weight on all figures where you contact other dancers. Hold your arms firm, but springy, so the other person knows they are dancing with someone. Give them your support. Adjust the amount of weight you give depending on the figure and who you are dancing it with. Don't you just wish that every person you met going up and down the line was present to dance with you? Even an element halfway can be fun if both persons are really dancing. 9. A good dancer is gentle with their partner. Never force unnecessary physical stress or movement on another dancer. Always make sure your partner is in control of their own movement before letting go after a swing or twirl. Don't squeeze or twist other dancers' hands on L and mans or balances. Make your hands like hooks and hook the other person's hands such that you have a firm connection, but so that they can be released easily. 10. A good dancer. Always make sure their partner has a good time. 
have fun, it's what we are there for, but make sure that everyone else does as well. You know. Someone once told me that whenever you are dancing with someone, convince that person there is no one you would rather be dancing with right now. Well, that certainly is a lot to think about. But I see there is more. I guess the Cincinnati dancers really thought about this pretty hard. But I am sorry to say we are out of time. Speaking for your hostess, Blanche, Ants Wayne, and myself, Lon Lyons, thank you for taking the time to listen and consider what it is that makes Contra Dance fun, and helping to create our dance community. But more importantly, thanks for the dance. Goodbye for now. Thank you all. Special thanks to the Cincinnati Contra Dance community for letting us steal this material. See you at Pig Town.